Welcome to North Iceland here in mid-May and I'm on my way to Iceland's most powerful, one of its most impressive waterfalls, Dettifoss. And we're going to take a look at this waterfall. But before we get there, I thought we'd look at the landscape a little bit because I think there's some clues here that might tell us what's going on with this section of Iceland and also how this waterfall is formed. So thanks for joining me. I'm geology professor Sean Wilsey here in North Iceland. Um, and let's take a look at things here. So you can see out in front of me here, beyond the snow, are these large boulders, upwards of maybe two meters in diameter in some instances, somewhat rounded, but not completely. Uh, and if we look at these in a little bit of detail, we see that a lot of them have very polished surfaces and places on them. And they're just sort of tumbled and dropped here. Now in Iceland, you might think, well, there's a couple things that could be responsible for this. Of course, we have glaciers in Iceland today and the movement of ice in the past was even more accentuated. Uh, glaciers were much larger and more um, extensive in Iceland. But these actually are rocks that are a little too rounded to be glaciers. The, the sorting here um, is a little too high. The, the size of the rocks are somewhat consistent and the particles are a little bit too rounded. So these, believe it or not, are actually um, products of a massive flooding event. So I do feel a little bit right at home because they look eerily like some of the flood boulders that I see in Southern Idaho from the Bonneville flood. The same sort of um, sizes of those Bonneville flood boulders, what we call melon gravels, as what we see here in Iceland. And the canyon is just over here by the waterfall. So we'll head over there in a second. But these are all from these large glacial outburst floods that are common in Iceland. Occasionally you can get these from volcanic eruptions beneath the glaciers or uh, other events that might trigger these big flooding events and these come racing down the valleys. Of course they're given uh, their own name of Jokulgok in Icelandic. Hopefully I pronounce that sort of okay. Um, but let's go ahead and head down to the falls and take a look at what these glacial outburst floods have done in the actual canyon corridor where the river is. This river drains to the north from the largest ice cap in Iceland, the Vatnajökull Glacier, which sits uh, over a large portion of the central interior of the country. So I was just really impressed right here by the parking lot with these huge boulders. Um, again, a vivid reminder of the power of not just nature, but in this case, moving water triggered by uh, volcanic eruptive events in many cases. So let's go ahead and journey down to Detifoss. So we've hiked along the trail and we're actually above Detifoss. There is a second waterfall up here called Selfoss. Um, and so I thought we'd take a look at that first. But the evidence for large discharge erosional events from the river here uh, is just pretty incredible. But first of all, you can see uh, what makes up this the geology here, you've got this uh, lava flow here, which is you know, maybe, uh, I don't know, 15 or so, 10, 15 meters tall. Uh, but then below it, there's a clear layer at the bottom of the flow that's more sedimentary in or origin, made of chunks of other rock types in there. Uh, you can see down below me here where some of these columns, these the crude columns in this basalt have actually collapsed. Uh, another section straight across the way where we see columns that have collapsed. And then just this sheer planar tableland and just the utter lack of soil uh, for the most part, sediment in this area really speaks to this large flooding events coming down this drainage over time. Over here on this side, you can see everything pretty much scraped down to bedrock, but more Interestingly, we find these, these channels, not perfectly linear, um, but trending in the same direction as the path of the water. Um, and so just a really cool landscape. And again, this has been fun to explore 
and compare with uh, mega flood features that I've seen in southern Idaho and in other places. Here's a nice little trough eroded out into the basalt right here in front of us. But let's go ahead and head up to the actual waterfall itself. This one again is called Selfos. Um, other things we might see here, again, if the water's just moving through this too quickly, you might not see these, but in places we may see some potholes excavated into the bedrock. That's not a great one there, but so maybe a smaller one right here below my feet. Yeah, so we're seeing a few of those places where the vortices in the water actually as it drags sediment along it bores down into this hard dense bedrock and excavates different types of potholes or cylindrical features so just as this this bare landscape uh, and then there's an looks like there's this is probably the top of that flow this bench we're on here and then there's another lava flow stacked on top of it that forms the area just beyond the snow there and then on the other side just above the little tablelands there so let's walk a little further to the edge of the river take a look at this upper falls which is smaller and then we'll head over to uh, Detifoss which is the bigger um, or primary waterfall here uh, it's an impressive amount of water that the river is carrying and I imagine it just increases as we go into the summer months with more warming and more melting of the snow it's mid-may it's been kind of cool here I've heard from locals it was a bit of a cold and wet spring so as impressive as this is I'm sure it gets much bigger seasonally and then it just boggles the mind to think of these massive outburst floods which have occurred in the past that come down these this drainage let's see we're almost there over here by the other folks some of the gravels up here left behind from some river flooding events It's a beautiful landscape and with the dark rock and the snow, um, just really a great contrast. Let's see, best way to get over there. Obviously want to be careful. The rock is a little bit wet. There's some moss on it in places. So we'll be careful as we head down over there. Here we go. Beautiful. Just like a nice amphitheater of water plunging over the cliffs there. Again, just in this lava flow unit here. So here we are at Detefoss, downstream of the last waterfall, and pretty mighty plunge. That's definitely one of the more impressive waterfalls I've seen. It's a little hard to see the far right side of it. There's actually a big snow bank over here that's kind of plastered on the, the rim of the canyon, um, but it's still pretty attractive. You can see this one just below me here with all the swirling patterns with the, the sediment mixed in the snow. Um, so this is a drop of 54 meters and looking at some of the, the basalt layers here I think there's about three individual layers that make up the canyon walls and form the drop of the canyon. So it looks like there's about four. And I did look up some of the information on the um, Yokolops, the big outburst glacier floods that occurred here, and it, there were three 
they did cosmogenic dating on the surfaces to figure out when those events occurred. And looks like there was one around 9,000 years ago, another one at 5,000, and then another at 2,000 years ago. So at least three major uh, glacial outburst floods that helped carve this portion of the canyon uh, and deepen it. And so like all waterfalls, this waterfall here, Dettifoss, is um, migrating upstream. So as these are what we call nick points, as the sediment going over the lip of the falls wears away at the rock, that causes the waterfall to eventually retreat upstream over time. And just since that last glacial outburst flood about 2,000 years ago, there's been about 500 meters, a half a kilometer of retreat of this waterfall. So this thing was a, a good ways down the canyon and retreated to this point just within the last 2,000 years, which is really impressive. So very scenic waterfall. All right, so that's a wrap from Dedefoss, Iceland's most powerful waterfall. I believe it. And then when you look at the evidence for major outburst floods, I think it's even more striking. So uh, pretty impressive all the way through. Thanks for joining me on this little adventure and we'll see you at the next stop.